Like many things in my life, what should have been a two minute job. Did you get any of that, Lee? That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Um, I'm wintry again. Right, we've come down the A52. Yeah. <laughs> the ghost! Hello. They're friendly enough, aren't they? Right, so we've got a pint of golden Bateman's bitter. Right, a very unusual vlog. I've not really done a vlog like this since last year, whilst I'm in Lincolnshire. So I'm off this afternoon um, and down at the bungalow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to be a bit of a tourist today. So I've got the electric door. Um, I was initially this morning or stroke afternoon going to take this lot down to the tip. But I'm going to possibly do that tomorrow. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the Corando and put the seats down and put this lot into the car, ready. Uh, now I've got my tools and things sorted out and I know where the drill is and my raw plugs and drill bits. I'm going to fit a grab handle because it's not raining on the front of the door. I'll explain why because there's a bit of a story behind this. And then, um, all being well with Lee, we'll be back later we're going to head out and we're going to do and do do something i've got no idea what we're going to do um we might head into skegness have a walk around the town maybe a walk down the beach uh we might just have a walk along another beach i'm not really too sure um we had a super high tide an exceptionally one with a flood warning and i thought it was today as i'm recording this and it turns out it was actually yesterday yesterday so i'm a day out um so i did want to go and film and witness that but we missed it it was the day of the solar eclipse in it wasn't it so i'm going to go and move, move the corando up get the seats down all being well this lot will fit into the back of it and i'll be ready to get a tip run done very very soon the, the corando field so I, i'm absolutely loving that little honda absolutely love that little civic uh I just ended up with it almost by accident and um also love the crando but the, when you get the crando now it feels massive <laughs> um compared to the little honda uh right there's loads of storage space in the back of here once the seats are down and as i say i'm hoping fingers crossed i can get a lot of that stuff there which is all paper waste in the back of here ready for a tip run and hey presto that's all in and hey another big open space there's a couple of spare boxes there which i'm going to keep for sandra in case her mum wants any more packing boxes when she does the move um and there's a massive open space there now that wasn't there before and i need to find my drill raw plugs and drill bits they're, they're all in there which i'll get and um i'll be well quickly get this uh this handle fixed i'm just gonna go and have a look what fittings came with that yeah a bit of a mystery the door handle so outside the bungalow when we bought it there was a grab handle that you hold on to on the door um which was here and here uh, oh. <laughs> And when we, when you buy a property, you have a list of things you want people to leave or keep. Hello, Russia. Uh, and we didn't put that down as fixtures and fittings. <laughs> and it went. So, Russia, come. So, I think, uh, is this the light that flickers? No. So, I did buy, I did buy one here. Uh, and I'm just going to have a look at what, what comes in the kit. <sighs> like many things in my life. What should have been a two minute job ended up not being a two minute job that handle uh it has a cover and it's wedged on i need to get a little nut to try and uh, knock it out so i'm sat that so i might do the tip i'm just going to see lee now what uh, what he fancies doing uh oh, stupid right. thing compared to the dump back at home this is so primitive um it's literally skips that's all it is it's just random randomness of skips and more skips uh anyway 
paper and cardboard where they were telling off for putting some cardboard in a paper bin and then said where's the where's the cardboard it's around there um mm, any of that, Lee? that was a bit weird wasn't it um <laughs> this the most weirdest bit of recycling i've ever done <laughs> um anybody that's been to the skegness dump tip how can oh, i'm trying to put up the honda key in the how confusing is that that is seriously not very uh, not very easy at all and I'm hoping I'm not gonna drop my car keys because I can't find the car key but it's gonna be in my pocket somewhere um, yeah not not marked out at all well um, right, back <laughs> from the dump that was a very grumpy experience and a very unorganized dump but I think one thing for sure and I know that this came up when I was on council that every local authority has different coloured bins for different recycling. So what you put in a black bin in Lincolnshire may not be what you put in a black bin in Liverpool. And what you put in a green bin in Lincolnshire may not be what you put in a green bin on uh, somewhere else. And really, you would think all the authorities would have a bit of um joined up writing wouldn't you about what they uh about what they do would make everybody's life simpler but that was yeah that wasn't that wasn't a very good tip anyway i've got to make the boat most of it because it, it is now my tip and i think a man's just come to take away the for sale sign um see if he knocks on the nice, door so yeah the for sale sign board is being collected good there we go happy days yeah um there you go, Macy. Well, let me just quicker. There you go. Sold, 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 sold. <laughs> and that's how our Lincolnshire life has become. Oh, is, oh, is something going on in my life? Um, <laughs> sign and display. Re reuse and recycle. So before we nip out for a little while, doing a touristy type thing, <laughs> can you do a tourist thing? Can can you are you if you go to if you go to the beach where you live, are you classed as being a tourist? I still can't get my head on all of this. Uh Jordan Broadhurst, um you sent a super thanks, Jordan. Thanks for that. And the lovely piece of website, you also sent one over um as well. So yeah, thanks ever so much. As I say, those and anything else like that now, any coffees or anything like that, will accumulate um, for the Maybank holiday when, if everything goes to plan, Sandra's going to be up and Barbara. Uh, so we'll, if we can get some time off work, go and um, go and give ourselves a treat. Right, I need to see Lee to figure out what we're going to do. Um, it's gone a bit cloudy and i have got a few spots of rain as well. Uh, yesterday was really, really warm and I thought... There was a real taste of, of 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 summer around the corner, and today it just feels like whoa, freezing cold again. But uh, yeah, we'll continue the vlog and decide where we're going to go and um, see where we are. Wintry again. again, right? We've come down the A52, and we've just said to Lee when the kids were growing up and we had a bad day, a rain day, we would just go for a random drive and explore. So we've just come down a random road, I think it's called Sea Lacey Road. And then we've got a notice that there's a gate gets closed at seven o'clock. And then we're on a, we're on the road. Got late. Um, and in the distance there's a tower. And I kid you not. What do you say? It's about a quarter of a mile by the looks of it. What, what did we see, like? Was it an aeroplane? I think so. Do you think it's an aeroplane? Uh, I'm sure we've seen an aeroplane. Which, there, there is an aeroplane in front. I can definitely see an aeroplane. I've got no idea where we are or what we found. But we found a big tower and there's an aeroplane down here. These look like cabbage fields. But as far as you can see, I don't think you can see the tractors over here. So we just parked down there. But as far as you can see, it's just fields for growing. Um, so they call it the bread, the bread, bread basket of Britain. Um, 
Right, so we're spying at the moment. There's a tower with a flag on it. There's a barrier, and there's definitely an aeroplane. If you live local, and do you know where we are, and do you know what we might find? Comments below, because I haven't got a clue where we are. Getting a little bit closer. Google Maps and apparently it's the tower at RAF Wainfleet. So did there used to be an RAF base here or an RAF camp? Um, is it still, well it's suddenly still in use because it is a helicopter down there isn't it? There's definitely a plane and there's a helicopter here. A lot of polythene on the fields, it almost looks like a lake, doesn't it? Um, warming up the soil. Nice an RAF plane. Hang on, this is this is getting more interesting this now. It's definitely it's an R, it's got an RAF symbol on it. You won't be able to see. My goodness me, look at that! Look, you can't be angulating. Right, there's there's missiles, there's torpedoes! but there is an RAF plane and there's a helicopter here there's going to be a runway down lay somewhere aren't there it's a, it's a sound horn uh, I'm very confused Very, very, very confused. Oh! Right, there's some vehicles parked here. But I'm guessing that these are, yeah, the labourers. So the in the orange jackets there, they're picking uh, crops. Doing that. Um, do you want to go down to the end? Oh, I'm going to turn around. Turn around to the end. Uh, Right. So I'm guessing. I'm just guessing. Hang on a minute, Lee. That plane's got a cabin built in the back of it, hasn't it? So did there used to be a runway here? What? What? A total, a total mystery. I think we might go and have a nose, a big solar panel. Um, probably can't bear how windy it is, but it's incredibly windy. Uh, staying on the outside of the fence. Uh, look at that. What, what, what is it? I've got my fit bills on, waterproof shoes. Uh, there's a wing, there's a wing and a helicopter. Oh. Children playing football on AstroTurf. I'm very, I'm very confused, Lee. Are you confused? Not really. Why is an airplane and a helicopter in? Very confusing. Right, we've got a bit of a walk back. Uh, so we've been blown, we've been blown down, and now our walk back is in against the wind. Just 
doing a little bit of research here. The tower at RAF Wainfleet is holiday apartment rentals. And then you can see on the phone here, you can, by the looks of it, stay in the tower and the planes. Um, so why why there's a tower here? It must have been an old RAF base. Um, yeah, bit of urban exploring that, Lee. Is that all right? Yeah. That was Lee's idea to come down here. Well, at least they'd go down this road, didn't you? We were... <laughs> no idea where we're going. Right, we'll head back to the A52 and um, <laughs> see where we end up next. Right, so we've got, we've headed sort of towards Boston Way on the A52. I'm going to settle we'll pull over because I want to show where we were going. Uh, and we're now at... What's it called? Leverton Marsh? Yeah. Lev so we've come down what's almost like... A, it's, it's like a dirt track, Lee, isn't it? Like a farm track. So a place called Leverton Marsh. Um, no idea where we are. It's extremely blustery and windy. We've got some horses in the field there. There's a kissing gate, so it's a public footpath there. And I think we've got the estuary behind us and the sea. So Lee says we'll go for a walk. Should we go for it, Lee? Yeah. Let's go. Right, so hopefully we'll catch you in a very windy situation yeah. in the middle of... Um, Wind noise, unfortunately, right over the Wrangell Sea Bank. Dyke and a pumping station. And you can see where the high tides come right up here, aren't it? Everything washed up. Should we head towards the sea? Uh, so we did slightly. Oh no, we've got phone going. Hang on a minute, back in the moat. Somebody's phoning in. Yeah, you come here, watch out for these craters, they're very, very deep. We're going to go look out this way. Right, so we've got, a we've got a style, Lee's climbing over. And we saw a big uh, a big barn owl swoop. Ow, my knee! Oh, ow, ow, crap, my knee. Uh, uh, barn owl, yeah, swooping over the fields earlier. Um, these are all the marshes here, as I say, you can see where all the water's come up with the, the high tides that we've just had recently. Don't do it again. I'm trying to shield the thing, but uh, you, you don't see, but there's ships out here. So as I say, we're sort of headed to the down Boston end of things, and uh, they're heading up towards the Humber and this here, we had this super high tide last night. It's supposed to be how far the water came up. Um, it's very windy. The winds dropped. So this was, um, I'm assuming this was this was last night's high tide. This super high tide that we had. Um, and then you got this sea defence. You can walk down, no idea how far that goes. Oh, Tumbleweed! <laughs> um, okay, I think it's too muddy here. Yeah, very, very, very careful. We don't get stuck in any mud, but... names come on say hello goodbye come on hello oh hello beautiful how are you hello 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 how are you hey well come say hello Lee. Oh. <laughs> do, do you remember them horses that, scared, that came after us that time uh, hello they're friendly enough aren't they okay i'm going to carrots 
Oh, like I say, let's, let's seek sanctuary in some shelter in the car. Uh, we're up here. Oh my goodness me. Right, so we're in Waynefleet, both starving hungry. We were going to go to Skeggy to get something to eat, and I said to Lee, I've still not been into any of these pubs. So I think we're just going to see whether they're, they're doing food or not, and we'll have, um, we'll have a bit of a treat. So we're going to try the the wool pack first, I think. Dodging they. copyright music. So they do do food. Join the week. House menu. There's pub classics and pasta. The mini ones. Grills. Yeah, we're fine, thank you. Burgers. Side light bites. Toasted baguettes. Sunday roast. Steak. And, um, quite bright in area as right, well. So we've got a pint of golden Bateman's bitter. First time I've had a drink in the afternoon since I've been back. Um, oh, well, that's nice. That. What are you on, Lee? A lemonade. Nice, nice glass, isn't it? That's me, goodness, that's a mighty burger, that, Lee, isn't it? Let's have a look at that. Mikey. Proper homemade onion rings with mega amount of gammon. Right, so the wool pack, Wayne Fleet. Amazing food, very good food. Uh, very generous portion, huge portion. I've actually got some gammon for Russia, I couldn't eat it all and left a lot of chips as well. Uh, yeah, so I've had a nice couple of hours with Lee, a bit of exploring, rubbish tips, um, drive out, RAF stations, and estuaries. Take care, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.